How you doing everyone? I know it's been a while since the last upload. Just been really busy and uh, with school and, and work in general. I just wanted to give you a, a quick update in what's happening with the, uh, with the home theater. And now that video is now redundant uh, because two weeks ago when I made that initial video, I had the intentions of actually updating you on what's been happening and answer a few questions that were uh, popping up in the previous videos, but there's been a few changes uh, the past two weeks to the home theatre and I wanted to at least share that with you. Now the first thing that I wanted to cover was the speakers. Uh, I do have the same speakers that I have showed you in previous videos, uh, with the exception of the height speakers. Recently I had a client that was uh, setting up just a basic sort of uh, 5.1 system. He wanted some height speakers and I felt that with my height speakers and my front speakers, my front speakers were either too powerful and it would drown out the, um, the height speakers and I just feel that I probably need some uh, bigger, higher end uh, height speakers and so I know it's a very controversial uh, subject in terms of uh, height speakers and how much you should spend and so forth, but I guess that's just all experimentation and so forth. Other than that, nothing else has really changed or no other new hardware has been added. The next thing that I wanted to cover was what's going to be happening in the near future. We'll be moving houses. I'm pretty excited about it because this house will have a dedicated home theatre room I am really pumped about it because it will be a lot more ideal room compared to uh, my current setup. I wanted to share with you guys what I have in mind. Uh, I wanted to get your opinions as well. Also wanted to share with you that I actually got some new speakers recently and some new hardware. A little while ago I had a client that gave me a call and asked me if I could dismantle their home theatre. So I went on site, uh, what she had planned was that uh, she was going to remove all the speakers, the subwoofer, for the amp and install a fireplace under the TV and so started dismantling all the speakers and uh, got to the projector. It was mounted in, in, in a way that I couldn't get to the screws uh, to unscrew it from the ceiling so I had to improvise because of how difficult it was um, to remove the projector. She was kind enough to actually give me the projector. I'll show you that now. This is the JVC HDL, HDLA HD1. Uh, this is a 1080p projector. It's got roughly, I think it was 700 lumens or 800 lumens output. This is a 12 year old um, projector and I believe after doing a bit of research this was JVC's flagship um, uh, projector 12 years ago. It does output a pretty good image. Can't really complain considering I got it for free. So moving forward she was trying to sell all the the hardware online and she managed to sell the the amp and the uh, subwoofer uh, but she was having trouble selling the speakers and so I had a look and I was thinking if I could utilize the, the speakers myself in the new house. And so uh, I was thinking about buying new speakers because I wanted to get some new rears um, to replace these uh, small clip uh, speakers. I wanted to get some new heights as well. And so I, I, I thought I may as well try and save myself a few hundred dollars instead of buying new or buy second hand. Uh, they're still decent speakers and so she made an offer and so I just ended up just buying the speakers off her. But yeah, I'll show you guys the speakers soon. I wanted to get your guys' opinion uh, in the new house. I'll show you guys the layout of the, the new home theatre. And um, yeah, I wanted to get your guys' uh, sort of feedback on the, the speakers and how I should lay them out, how I should place the speakers. I have a, an idea in mind, but... Uh, I wanted to get your feedback. So the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys was uh, the current setup that I've got. It's, uh, it's a bit messy, but uh, it, it is temporary. And so uh, the thing that triggered this was two weeks ago, I helped my uncle set up his home theater system. He got some new speakers and, uh, and projector and, and a few other things as well. Last weekend, we went over there and they got a, a test demo and 
it was pretty intense. Uh, it was a really good setup. Uh, I went back home and I set up the, the projector. Had to move or shift the entire room to the, to the right and uh, the couch was uh, on this wall, but we shifted it to here. I had this um, a shelving unit uh, upstairs, and so we shifted downstairs to support the, uh, the projector. Mounted the projector screen. It's a bit messy, but it's temporary. Pretty good, pretty good setup. The main difference is the screen, and, and after I wasn't a huge fan on projectors um, because I just thought uh, they couldn't give out good image or it wasn't as sharp as getting a uh, um, an LCD or uh, it's hard to beat an OLED but unless you've got a pretty high-end uh, flagship uh, projector you can still almost match uh, an OLED or it, you could mistaken it um, uh, for an OLED. Uh, the only, the only reason why it would give it away is of how large it is and so uh, this is roughly about a 120 inch projection and so after experiencing this this the past few nights and watching movies we can't go back uh, to a uh, smaller screen well thanks for sticking around i know it was a bit of a talkative one but i just wanted to update you guys on what's been happening and what to expect in the near future i will be uploading more videos i will also be uh, answering a few questions on previous videos as well i'll be looking forward to having uh, conversations on the new setup and uh, any opinions and feedback or anything like that, negative or positive, doesn't matter. Thanks for sticking around. I'll give you guys a, a demo of um, the projector. Speak to you soon. Take care of yourselves.